Hey guys, welcome back to Ulan App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Dark X error. So if you're interested, let's start tutorial. Now if you're having issues with Call of Duty or uh, Black Ops 6 here, there are a few things that you need to do here to probably solve this issue. So first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you close unused apps. Now different apps or applications that you have on your PC can, or in this case, is actually consuming memory. Now if Call of Duty does not have enough resources to run the game, it will give you this error here. So in this case, you want to go ahead and visit your, in this case, task manager. So press on your keyboard, control, shift, escape at the same time, it should open up task manager. Now if you don't see or you don't have the same UI that I have right now, you can go ahead and click on the more details option here and it should give you this option. Now, what we need to do is you need to close any apps that you're not using, especially browsers. Now, if you're using multiple browsers, like, like as you can see right now, uh, mine, uh, Google Chrome, I'm using Google Chrome right now, it's consuming a lot of memory here. So what we need to do is you need to select that, click on end task at the bottom right here, and you want to do this for every app that you have, especially ones that is running at the background. So you want to go and scroll down, down, down a bit here. If you do see any apps that is running in the background, so if you have Adobe, any Photoshop, or any uh, apps that is consuming a lot of memory, you can go ahead and close that. So you can also filter them by clicking on the memory option here or the CPU and see what is the uh, uh, app is, that is consuming a lot of CPU or memory. But yeah, so go ahead and close any apps that you have. Now, next thing you want to do here is you might want to also disable discord overlay now, how do you do that so here on discord what we need to do is we need to go to our settings at the bottom left here click on user settings and you want to scroll to the very bottom here on the left panel and you want to go to game overlay and you want to go ahead and disable this one and once it's disabled in uh in game overlay go ahead and close this one close discord and see if that solves the issue now, another thing that you could do here is to update a few things. So that includes updating Windows and your GPU. Now, for Windows, this one is pretty easy. You could go to your search bar at the bottom left here. Just type in update. Click on check for updates. And in here, what we need to do is we need to click on check for updates. And if you have any updates that is waiting for Windows, it will automatically update. If, especially if the update itself is pretty essential, it will automatically install it for you. Now, if you do see some optional update here, you could go ahead and install them as well. And once you've installed all the updates for Windows, go ahead and close your settings here, restart your PC, and see if that solves the issue. Now, another thing that you might want to update here is going to be your GPU. Now, GPUs actually release different updates whenever a big game actually comes out. So that includes uh, our game, which is Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So depending on your GPU, if you have NVIDIA, you need to open up GeForce Experience, or if you have AMD, you need to install the appropriate, uh, this case, uh, driver for that. But in my case, I actually have NVIDIA. So in this case, I'm going to open up GeForce here. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to drivers at the top left here. And usually, again, if a game is uh, pre uh it was released pre uh or pretty new, they should release some form of update that you might want to install. So in this case, just click for check for updates first. And if you do see some updates, just click on download on the, the available update here. And once you've downloaded the update, it will install itself. And once the installation is complete, just start your PC and see if that solves the issue. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.